All right, well, I'm uh, quickly going to show you how to fix an input jack problem when you have it. So here, here this is really low. You can hear it's loose. Uh, this is a Fender 62 reissued Jaguar bass, a uh, Japanese one. But it's got a standard input jack, which means it's easy to fix. Uh, so uh, we'll cut to the next scene, and we'll take it apart, and we'll fix it without any parts. All right, the only thing I've done off camera is to remove these three screws here so that we can get to this plate. Uh, I am holding the camera by hand, so I'm not sure how this is going to work out. All right, so let's pick up the plate carefully. And under there is our uh, output jack. And I'm trying to make sure that you can see these. So there are two uh, of these lugs here. This is a stereo jack, but it's not a stereo output. So in this case, it's an active bass. So one of these two is the actual uh, sound coming out of the bass. The other one serves as an on-off switch, basically, so that when the jack goes in and it touches it, that it will uh, force the uh, battery to turn on. That's how you don't lose your battery all the time. Now they tell you, you, know, you leave it plugged in, your battery's going to die. That's why. So looking at these, this one looks like it's been out pretty far. So I'm going to assume it's the other one. So what we're going to do is, uh, here's a pair of these guys. And bend uh, the other one first here. Inward a little bit. Which is really easy to do, but very difficult to do while holding the camera. So I don't know if I can do that. So, might be able to arrange something. Here's my target here. This is uh, this little guy, which I don't think you can see. And I'm just going to bend it outward. All right. Don't know that I trust what I've done just yet, so unfortunately, I'll put the camera down for a sec. Alright, so I think I've got it bent enough. So now I am going to just put this back on. And then I am going to put one screw in it so that when I try to test this out and see if it works, it doesn't uh, go anywhere on me. Don't need to scratch this base up, it's pretty. All right, well, moment of truth time. I'm gonna put the camera back on a tripod. See how well that works. Okay, so far so good. Go with the uh, strap on the good old base here. Okay, time to plug in. Turn the amp on, of course. Alright, well there you have it. No more loose jack. It's not wiggling, it's not doing anything wrong. So, mission accomplished. So if you have this style of jack, uh, it is very easy. Just bend the prongs inward so that what you're trying to do is make it grab onto the jack and come in contact with it. Over time, when they wear, they're simply moved apart and they won't uh, come in contact often enough. So there you have it. Uh, I think I'll show you another video of a barrel jack which blows because uh, you cannot uh, easily repair one of those.